Good evening, I'm Chief Forecaster on a cabin at the First Alert Weather Center, and we do have a wind advisory in effect for a lot of Ventura County until 3 p.m. tomorrow. Gusts up to 45 miles per hour, sustained wind 20 to 30 miles per hour with those Santa Anas. So as we take a look at our future track, it's calmer there this evening, but Gaviota with the winds picking up around 8 p.m. As we had the overnight notice, it's getting a lot stronger with this wind in San Luis Obispo County. Note San Luis Obispo, especially where we've had a couple of fires break out and Ventura County with those Santa Ana's definitely getting stronger in the morning. It does take a few hours for that to diminish, but eventually by the afternoon, things are looking a lot better tomorrow with some wind again on the south coast in the later evening hours. Now with the wind, with our low relative humidity and our warm temperatures, we do have a red flag warning for most of Ventura County until 10 p.m. Relative humidity could be as low as 5% in some cases. That is quite dry. Do everything you can to prevent a fire from starting because it could spread rapidly if it does start. Now here's a look at South Coast temperatures tomorrow. Notice the lows in the 40s quite cold and the 80s for the afternoon quite warm. So that's a good 40 degree swing in your temperature through the day. Same thing for the Santinez Valley, even some close to freezing for the early morning hours. Central Coast, many of you in the 70s to the 80s for your day tomorrow on Halloween. If you're in San Luis Obispo, 85 degrees, a low of 42, but even colder in Paso 30 degrees potentially for your morning hours tomorrow. Bundle up and Ventura County 50s for your lows warmer because of the overnight wind and high temperatures tomorrow in the mid 80s for the most part. Everyone stay safe.